Uh, hello everyone, this is Khalik from KD Tags. In this video, I am going to show you how to make this drop down list with tags followed by images and uh, some JSON video. So, in previous uh, in previous tutorial, I already explained this to you, but uh, many of you guys is asking for the code. Uh, please show us all code for this dot file. These are the tutorials and make the drop down JSON by one to almost two days. I will see almost two days, but with your video, I could able to do this correctly. Thank you very much. Welcome. And also, you ask for the uh, you ask for the why so. Today I'm trying to do my voice, and you ask for the GitHub. So in this under the, in the description of this video, you will find the the link to download the code, and also the GitHub. Please, the Ahmed Purat Behar is also asking for the code, and MD Ijaz Anwar is also asking for the code, the GitHub code. Of course, you'll find the download link for the source code under this video. So in this video, I'm going to explain how it works and how can you customize the drop down. You don't need to, you don't need to put any dependencies. No need. You just need to put one asset folder here. Inside the asset folder, there will be all your images. Okay, and then you just need to enable your asset folder from your popspec.yaml.com, popspec.yaml. Okay. And then in main <coughs> in main dot dot file, it's a just a demo flutter uh, flutter demo app. And here, when the state is starting, the home page state is starting. The one string, the one variable I created, which is selected when you click one uh, one object or one drop down list. So this thing, this uh, data. Is storing inside the selected variable and then there is one map list and it's called JSON my JSON and inside the my JSON there is some uh, map listing I, I did uh, manually which uh, first uh, uh, first object is uh, ID and then the string is one then two three four and then so on until 14 and then there is image image i put the assets banks and and the image directory link that uh, i mean like to link to the image then name what is the name okay so the name i will show as a title then i will show is a title image will be the image will be there uh, this the specific uh, title logo and then each and every uh, list data will have an ID. So after you've done this part, then you go and you will scroll down here. Okay, this is just a center. The body is just a center. Inside the container, I just <coughs> put padding like uh, agent set all like 15. Uh, yeah, this is just I, I put some kind of padding and the box decoration. The box decoration is uh, okay. The padding is inside the box, not outside the box. Okay, this is this container is uh, you can say this this is a container and the box decoration for border. The border is gray and then the border radius is 10. The border radius is 10. If you want to give any other padding to whole layout you can just uh, just add padding so after adding padding just uh, hot restart and you will see some padding from the from all side okay and then inside the container i i made one uh, inside the container there i made one row okay inside the row there i, I made one expand uh, expand uh, widget and inside the expand widget this drop down header uh, button which is height underline the height underline i just use because every drop down has one underline over here so i just 
to hide that underline I use this so the drop down is true yeah the drop down must be true so the drop down must be true and then the drop down <coughs> the drop down button is dense is dense mean like if you remove his dance it, uh, it will not be uh, it no it will not be shrink to each other so I put the is dense the hint text is like select any bank this is the hint text and the selected value when you select a value it will store inside the selected and then the selected value here this value is a fair just because of we put the value as a selected value then on change on change we check the value we take the value from here and then we using the set set state just because we are using on the we want to change the data in this uh, this select we want to update the selected variable on real time basis so we use the set state <coughs> so we use the set state so we are storing the <coughs> new value inside the selected uh, state okay this new value must be <coughs> anything this new value will come from this value depend on this value if you put id it will store the id if you put name from here if you put name so the selected value the selected value will be name if you put image selected value will be image so currently i put id so it's only printing the id so if i put like okay if i put like name and then <coughs> so now you see I select this name see the, now the, the printing the name and if I select the image it will print the image location see so for me I use the ID so you can use whatever you want okay and then I made one row so this row this is the child the child row is actually actually your your this row your this row so you, you can design it uh, um, you can design according whatever you want as as you want you can design it so the first thing in the row is image Okay, is the width of 25 can uh, the width and height so this is the width of 25 and then the second uh, element is container which has a padding it is a margin from left is 10 from left side it has margin like 10 and then the the value is coming from map okay the map I already used here uh, let me show you okay there is a name the items then json json dot map 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 and then i made this and after this i to close this bracket this one the first bracket after closing this bracket you need to put the true list because you are using the list and this is a container with name and you can add more things like uh, checkbox and checkbox uh, uh, value is equal to false. I'm just uh, on change sub function. Uh, just empty function. Let me empty. Uh, it should be value. Okay, I'm not doing anything. I'll uh, just print. Print uh, value. Yeah. and it will be a bit messy because I didn't uh, design it well you see it's a bit messy and when you click here and say true and then true and then true because here I put the false if I say uh, true here and then it will be the print will be printing false because each and every uh, all the checkbooks will be true already so when you click see it's printing the files currently there is no such state 
there is no any uh, function uh, to to make it uh, work so that's why it's uh, not changing on the sets and the other thing you can just uh, say like command uh, access alignment and access alignment space in between and you can a bit you can spread these things uh, like this which the code like it looks like this uh, no, there is no more quotes, so hope you enjoyed this uh, video. <clears throat> uh, to download the source code, you can find the link there down in description. And to watch previous video, just uh, click the link up here. Okay, thanks for your time, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'm so sorry about my English. My English is not so good because it's not my native language and uh, hope to see you in future with my good english and good uh, speaking power uh, thank you all